on how to use Google Meet uh, with, with your virtual classroom. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to ensure that you're actually signed in properly. So I am using a Chromebook and in order to check which account I am in, you can head on over to any of the Google products. So I'm just going to click on my Google Drive. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click over here to your profile circle. And you're going to see which account you're signed in with. So you want to make sure that this is at the top here, your stu.ocsb.ca account. And you, if this does not say your account here on a Chromebook, you'll want to sign out of the Chromebook and add person and add in your account details. Okay, so now that we've checked to make sure that we've signed in properly on our Chromebooks, I'm going to head back to the student portal and I'm ready to meet my teacher in the meet. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to click from the student portal onto the Google Meet icon. I'm going to locate the class that I'm currently in. It will say the start time and then I'm going to click in that meet. If you have several classes throughout the day, you will see several different spots. Just make sure to note the time and when you should be clicking these meets. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to join the meet. I'm going to click. So this is important right here. So you'll want to make sure that you press allow on your camera. Um, the first time that you're using this. However, if you do press, press block by accident, you'll want to make sure that you click in the camera right here and then always allow Google Meet to access your camera and then click on done. Notice that it doesn't go away because you do need to refresh your page. So I'm just going to allow this notification and it's going to refresh. There the camera is starting. So uh, what you'll need to do now is um, your mic and camera will start. So you want to make sure you may want to apply a visual background first so that Google Meet has a different set of backgrounds. Depending on your um, type of device, you, you may see this differently. So I'm just going to choose that background as my background. I'm going to mute myself so I don't disturb others. And then I'm going to click join now. So you notice that we get a uh, waiting for the host to join. This is because uh, the teacher has not yet started the class. So we are going to wait for that. Okay, my teacher has joined the meeting. So we're able to start the class. Um, so a few things that you'll want to make sure is that um, down here at the bottom, you notice there's a few controls. So this is going to turn my microphone off so that I'm not uh, disturbing the class. So you may want to turn this off unless it's your turn to speak. This will turn your camera on or off. This is for closed captioning. So while someone is speaking, you can turn this on. They have been turned to English. So if you're speak, you're a teacher was speaking a different language. So if you had a French teacher, for example, um, you can turn these off on in a different language. So you can click where it says English. And if you had a French teacher, you could click there and then click apply. I'm just going to turn them on off. Sorry for now. So a closed captions are um, an accessibility setting for you. So if you'd like to have uh, the words printed across the screen, that's a good option. Another thing is that you might want to know is how to raise your hand. So um, because there'll be lots of people in the call on your class, you'll want to make sure that you stay muted, but then you raise your hand and wait your turn for your teacher to call on you. You can do that by clicking on this button. As you begin to speak, um, you'll get a prompt to, to lower your hand when you're done or your teacher can lower your hand for you. So after your question, you can lower your hand just by clicking on it again. Other features within Google Meet that are um, good to know are clicking on this three dots menu. And then 
being able to change your layout is important, especially when you have lots of uh, students learning in the classroom, in your virtual classroom. So right now it's set to auto, so it's kind of going to flip flop between tiled and the person speaking. So if you want to see all of your classmates, you would want to click it to tiled and then you'd want to drag this blue dot over to the maximum spot. So that's a great layout for learning with multiple friends where you want to see all your different classmates. If you decide that focusing on the speaker is best for you in the moment and still want to see a few of your classmates, like the ones who are potentially speaking, sidebar is another great option. Or spotlight would focus just on the person speaking. So it's up to you which layout you would like. Again, it's in the three dots menu. Other things that are in the three dots menu that would be uh, good for you to know is um, being able to change your background. So it's called apply a visual effects. So last year, if you're learning, it was uh, change background. So right here, you have some blurring options. And then well, as well, you have some sort of different colors. And there are a few more video options now as well. So in addition it, to it being sort of a fun thing to do to switch your background. Um, it's, it's a, it's a nice feature to maintain your privacy in your own homes. If you're, if you're learning from home so that if there's someone walking by, you won't be able to see them in your camera. So we do recommend choosing a visual background to use throughout your call. Other things that are really useful to um, note is to click on settings and then notice your audio, which mic you are using. So right now I am only plugged in to one microphone, just my Apple earbuds here. So we want to make sure that that is set to the microphone and our default headphone. So if your headphones are plugged in, you'd want to test it there or you could change it uh, to speakers if you weren't using headphones. If you click over to video, if you had multiple cameras, which I do on this case, the front camera is the one that's facing me. The back camera um, would be if I was using it in tablet mode. You can also adjust your video lighting here. Depending on your device, you may see this as an option. And then this part right here, if you're having bandwidth issues or you're finding your videos are running slowly, if you change this down here, and this is a, a good little tip to standard definition, so your receive resolution, if we change that to standard and then um, you'll be able to, it'll be able to run a bit quicker. You can also change this one from 720 to 360 and that's what you're sending out to others. I'm just going to leave mine on auto for now. If it's running smoothly, auto should work great. Um, you can also um, do a few other things in here. So you can switch to full screen and that uh, removes the tabs from the top. And if you want to get that back, you can press the escape key on your keyboard or again in your three dots menu. Over here on the side, you're going to notice a little chat bubble. This is where you can send chat messages. Please note that this would be uh, visible to everyone in the classroom. So your teacher may uh, choose to turn this on or off. And I can even access, uh, if I right click, an emoji keyboard where I can send an emoji to my friends. And then remember that that will be visible to everyone. Your teacher may also want you to share your screen. So one way that you can do that is click down here where this little box is and then choose a tab. A tab is our recommended way for sharing as it shows just what you want to show on your screen. So you're going to close, choose tab and then choose the screen that you want to present to others. I'm going to choose the student portal. If there is audio in your in your um, tab, then make sure that that is clicked and then click on share. 
to undo this, what you'll do is you'll come back to the Google Meet. So notice there's two tabs up here. And you can see a preview of your, your Google Meet. Um, and then what you can do is stop sharing up here to release your tab. That's a quick overview of using Google Meet uh, with your virtual class. Thanks so much for listening.